welcome to MacBreak Studio. We're looking at motion, and Mark wants to show us symbols. some symbolism. Some symbolism. We're going yes. to do some symbolism. Symbols and symbol fonts. Okay. And we've talked a little bit before about how symbols can be useful for 3D text. Right. Because motion has this incredible 3D text engine, as does Fonica Pro 10, and symbols let you create very interesting <laughs> 3D objects. Right. Okay. So, but I, I've learned a couple new things that I really thought were worth sharing. And the first is, T for the text tool, I'm going to click in the canvas here, and then you can go to the edit menu and choose emoji and symbols. So this is going to be symbols. We'll come to symbol fonts in a minute. There's also a keyboard shortcut, control command space. So I'll press control command space, and it brings up this window where you can go through here and find each of these guys, or you can click each of the categories below. Um, but what I like to do is click this little palette symbol up here, which makes a bigger version of it. So you can see these categories. It makes it a little easier to navigate, okay? Are you gonna, are you gonna pick an emoji? No, I'm not gonna pick an emoji right. because emojis don't really work for 3D text. Right. They really don't extrude or anything. Yeah. You have to use these symbols. But what I wanted, the cool thing I wanna show you, and this was just a small thing, is you can toggle the um, little view see, there. Know that you... And by the way, this, yeah, this, this was another great user tip is being able to toggle the view of that. But there are some other categories that don't show up by default. Okay, the, all these symbols look great, and there's great things you can use and make 3D extruded objects about all of them, but there's more. So if you click this gear menu, even though it looks grayed out, which is very odd. It is. It looks grayed out, but if you click on it, you can still choose to customize the list. But it'd be grayed out. So if I open that up, there's a bunch of unchecked ones here. A few very useful ones that I found are technical symbols, signs and standard symbols, and musical symbols. So yes. I'll add those and click done, and it adds these to the bottom, okay? So for example, uh, if you need a telephone, this is the place to go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yep. put a 3D telephone, or if you wanna use the command key. So actually, I'll double click that command key. Well, it has all the, you know, the Mac keyboard. Exactly, all the, uh, you know, different- Modifier keys. All the modifier keys, which is why I originally looked this up. And then musical symbols, if you need a musical symbol. So that's just one way, so I'll put that symbol in there I'll go to the inspector and make it really big. And then just to make it look nice in the appearance tab, I'll turn on 3D text. And skin it, skin that puppy. Yeah, I'll use one of the presets here. I'll go to stone and use say travertine and make it nice and thick also. This really isn't a tip about 3D text so much. And I'll add a camera just so that we can easily rotate around and take a look at it. Okay, so there we have a, a, that's a commanding command symbol. It is very. Right? So the cool thing is with symbols, there are many more symbols available in the character palette by going in and, and customizing them there. So that's tip number one. Tip number two has to do with font book, okay? Now we've gone into font book in previous episodes where we built a collection of symbol fonts because there are many fonts that are symbols. Right. Uh, and I collected them all together in this. I'm gonna get rid of this, okay? I'm gonna select it, control click, and say delete. Get rid of that collection because there's a better way. And this from, comes from Gary S, who showed, us a, showed me a way to do this also on tech support. So instead of that collection, which I made manually, you know, I created a collection and dragged all the stuff into it. Right. Guess what? The font book has the ability to make ah, smart, smart collections. collections. <laughs> yes, so just the same way you can do it in photos or Fonica Pro, of course, <laughs> smart collections in font book. Yeah. So I'll call this symbol fonts, I'll leave all, but I'll change family name to design style, and design style is symbol. Yeah. Click OK, and now I have all symbol fonts show up in here, just like that. The other thing that happens is once you've done that, if you go back to motion and you've got text in your project, in the text inspector under format, we've got this pop-up of collections, symbol fonts now appears as a collection of fonts, okay? So that's useful if you know what letter it is, but frequently you don't. So like if I go to Badani, for example, I don't know which letter to type to get those different symbols. Sure. But if I go to font book and select Badani, I can say, well, actually I want uh, this guy right here. So I'll copy it, select it, copy it, go back to motion and command V to paste and it's pasted it in there. Now it's really small by default, but I'll, I'll make it, okay. So there it is nice and big. And just to, again, make it look a little nicer, I'll go to appearance 
and make, make it, it metal. 3D. Yes, I'll make it metal. How'd you know? I'll go to metal and put a nice brush metal on it and also give it some depth. So there's our nice, beautiful Badani ornament that I can use in any kind of project and animate and what have you. Just a cool tip that you can create smart collections in Fontbook for, for all your symbol fonts and then have easy access to them for creating beautiful 3D text and motion. That's a fantastic tip, Mark. <laughs> I'm sure people out there are going to love it. I love it. It's very useful um, to be able to grab this stuff quickly. I right. use it all the time. Awesome. So check out uh, All Mark's training at rippletraining.com regarding motion and Final Cut. And, well, and anything else related to Resolve and uh, Logic, we have it. Check us out on all the social media channels. Thanks for watching Mac Break Studio. We will see you next week.